The following is a BTK offender criminal profile. This profile was written several years after BTK's first set of murders. It reads, The attached analysis is only as good as the information that has been provided. In addition, it may be necessary to totally change or modify this analysis if new information is developed, such as additional victims, more forensic evidence, or more information obtained from research. Multiple Homicides, Wichita, Kansas The murders of the offender known to the public only as the BTK are the result of a fantasy acted out. A fantasy where for the first time in his life he is in a position of dominance. He is an inadequate type, a nobody who through his crimes has placed himself in a position of importance. The BTK Strangler is now a somebody who is receiving the recognition he feels is long overdue. He is not even very original in his crimes. He has patterned himself after other killers, such as the Son of Sam in New York City. Most of the verbiage used by the offender in his letters probably comes out of recent publications in detective magazines. The subject is alienated, lonely, and withdrawn. He would not be expected to have any lasting relationships with others and would lead a solitary existence dominated by fantasy and magical thinking. His killing is an attempt on his part to find affection and acceptance. He fears everyone, including himself. He would not be expected to have had any normal relations with women and probably has never had a normal heterosexual relationship with one. When he is not killing, he experiences intense feelings that he is not normal and therefore he kills to cope with this disorder in an attempt to escape within his own fantasies. Thus, he can be expected to kill again and to do so in a compulsive repetition pattern that he has already established. His victims can be either male or female, who are both loved and outgoing. His victims will be in a position of vulnerability where he can totally render them helpless. His victims represent his own feeling of helplessness and hopelessness. His own life has been disruptive. He probably comes from a background where his family was broken. He was raised by an overbearing mother who was inconsistent in her discipline, and his father was absent, either because of marital separation or death. This would have occurred when he was a youth. Your subject may have been raised by foster parents. Your subject was an average student in the classroom. However, he was more adept to disrupting the class by using profanity and pranks. His language and statements make us believe that he has some military experience and or is a police buff. He probably has had run-ins with the police in the past, such as assault and or breaking and entering. During these break-ins, items taken will be items of insignificance. These items would have been taken because of a fetish or to feed a strong urge to take an article of clothing or an item that he is fond of or the satisfaction of committing a crime that will leave little evidence to investigators. BTK may have a history of voyeuristic activity, and he may have an arrest record for these types of offenses. He hunts his victims by selecting neighborhoods where he can peruse different houses without being detected. Furthermore, his victims will live in an area where, if need be, he can have an easy escape route, such as a neighborhood park where he can hide to elude police. His killings are impulsively motivated and without elaborate planning. He seeks out targets of opportunity. Such individuals of this type suffer from insomnia and thus find it difficult to hold steady employment. Control of himself and of his environment is essential to such a person. Although he is gaining in confidence, he is still shy, withdrawn, and isolated. BTK will continue to kill until he is caught or killed.